Alright, hey, he's Mega here, and uh, so I got the rest of my parts, alright, so I ordered from uh, Suron Canada, alright, they sell OEM Suron parts now, that's what I'm going to say, um, and they're, they will be selling the new uh, Storm B and uh, Ultra B soon, okay, I'm not sure. um, they're the ones that are importing it, but they do sell OEM Suron parts, so I got the axles, alright, and the... Uh, and a rear fender, right? Um, and I, in, a pre, in the previous video, you saw me repair the rear uh, fender. Uh, if that doesn't uh, if doesn't hold up, we'll put this guy on, all right? <laughs> but I got a spare one, all right? So I've only broken one of these. I have to say they do hold up pretty well. So I say um, th that only broke because uh, I got in that crash. Okay, but anyway, I bought two axles. Uh, I was just gonna buy one, but as, but that, the shipping was like fifteen dollars. Or it's from like Canada, so it's kind of expensive. And so I, I added another axle in there, and I was like, oh well, the, the shipping is the same if I ship two axles. So I said, for, why don't you just buy two of them, man? <laughs> so I'll have uh, I'll have the one that's bent, okay? The one that's slightly bent. All right, I have four axles now. I have the one that bent in the crash. All right, that's really bad shape. We don't we don't want to use that anymore. And then I've got the one that's slightly bent, the, my very first axle that I slightly bent it. I, I think I might have bent it jumping the bike or something. I, I don't know, man. Um, uh, that one has been through a lot of battles, too. So, <laughs> so these, are, these are not very strong axles. I'm not going to lie, guys, all right? Um, but the good thing is uh, you want this to bend. You don't want the bearings or the frame or something else to crack, all right? That's the reason why I don't buy an aftermarket one, all right? Um, I think if you have an aftermarket one, then you will break something else other than the axle, right? I would rather replace this than like bearings or, or crack your frame. If you crack your frame, that's it. Game over, you know? <laughs> you can't really do anything else. You might be able to repair a cracked frame, you know, but yeah, I'd rather not. That's what I want to say. Anyway, um, so uh, what Hades Omega does is I re-thread these, all right? I re um, this is, I think, M10 1.0, I think, pitch. Uh, it's a very odd thread pitch all right um and and so that's what the stock uh axle uses it uses that weird uh aluminum nut or whatever <laughs> okay and i ditched that thing a while ago i said man this thing is such a pain in the ass to take out you need a special tool to take it out so i rethread it in m10 125 all right 1.25 pitch um and to do that we got a die all right so now, I did this to my last other ones, all right? So uh, I got to do it to these ones, all right? Because uh, they don't, um, the the nut I'm using won't fit on this, all right? I just use a regular mechanical locking nut to uh, to install these, all right? So so I have to rethread it, all right? And that's that's what we'll be doing, all right? So this one will be a spare. Um, this one will be a spare. I've got one of them already mounted on the uh, the vise here, and we're going to start uh, rethreading it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do these two. And then we'll get to installing the swing arm finally and my bike will get back on the road hopefully and it'll be nice and quiet and all, all the bearings are changed it should be smooth as butter all right it should be smooth as butter and it shouldn't sound like a knocking noise like it had before okay that was the big big problem there all right um yeah all right so i'm just gonna i'll show you how i'm gonna thread this one and then the, and then that's it and then we'll go put everything back on the bike and, I'll, and then we'll take it out for a ride and I'll let you know how it is. All right. Uh, this is taking this project, this rear end rebuild project has taken a, a while, is what I want to say. All right. I wouldn't have done this if I hadn't a cra somebody had crashed into me. All right. And messed my bike up. But, you know, that's that's racing, man. <laughs> There's always going to be some knucklehead out there that, you know, doesn't know how to ride <laughs> type of thing. All right. Okay, here we go, boys and girls. So here it is. I've got the axle mounted onto my vise here. I've got the uh, aluminum soft jaws on here, all right? And I've got it clamped onto here. I use the aluminum soft jaw and not the metal one because I don't want to mark up the axle, all right? Um, that's the reason I use it. Aluminum is much softer than the steel they use in this, all right? So um, it won't mar it up too bad, okay? And if you... If you do, I would clamp it somewhere in the middle, <laughs> okay? Because the middle part uh, is kind of like, it's just in that spacer area that, you know, just kind of floats there, you know? But anyway, I've got my die here, 
And I've got the M. Okay. I've got the M. Uh, it's, it's this 1.25 here, and it says 10 millimeters. All right, that's what we want. M10125. All right. Uh, M10125 is a much more common um, size, is what I want to say. All right. Just want to test it out. Actually, let me go back in some of those chips real quick. He's gonna make a try to not make a mess as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, but it's uh, inevitable, is what I'm saying. Okay, so I got the uh, I've got the nut here. I should be able to screw it in. There we go. Looks good. All right successful all right so i'm just going to do that for the other one and uh yeah and then then we'll get to installing the uh, swing arm that's all i really got to do today so okay all right let's make up all right he's making here it's time to go put the sauron back together sauron might be um after we fixed everything okay so i'm not going to do like a time lapse or anything um you'll You'll see the bike look like this, and then in one second, you'll see the bike look like... Alright guys, problems. Alright, yeah, I tried to put the swing arm back, and it doesn't, uh, the jack shaft won't fit, guys. <laughs> the reason is, the spacers won't fit with the whole jack shaft together. It won't fit between the swing arm anymore, so like the distance... I guess when, when we welded it and we strengthened it, it kind of, it, it was kind of tweaked or something. I don't know, man. It doesn't go in there straight anymore. So, um, it's, uh, the, the distance between the, uh, the swing arm pivots is less now. So the, the jack shaft won't fit in. All right. So take a look at this. Okay. I've got the other side. The other side is already like within the, uh, the swing arm. I want to say, ah, I can't get in there. So it should it should just fit in there perfectly, right, guys? But it doesn't. So if I push on the spacer so it's flat, it doesn't fit. All right, it's it's like a millimeter off. All right, and ah, if I can if I can if I can bend if I could bend the swing arm out a little bit, I could probably get in in there. But I don't think we could bend it anymore because we reinforced it a lot, dude. This shit won't bend anymore, man. It's super stiff now. All right, it's it's stronger than it was before, is what I want to say. So uh, what we're gonna have to do is just grind the uh, the spacers until the the um, the jack shaft will fit in there. All right, so just just very little bit until it just slips in there, or else this thing will be a pain in the ass to put in every single time. And then yes, I'm modifying my my drivetrain a little bit to get it to fit in there. All right, it should fit like if it was OEM, it should just slip right in there. But we modified the swing arm. All right, guys. So so yeah. All right. So what I'm gonna do is just take it to uh, take uh, put the uh, spacers on the grinder. All right, and we'll grind a little bit off on each side at a time until it fits. Okay. So all right. Yeah, I wonder how that's going to make the change. I, I think one millimeter left or right, it's not going to matter, guys. <laughs> okay, a bunch of grinding later. There it is, all right? So I've got the axle through it here, all right? Spins. Does it spin straight? I hope so. <laughs> um, so one of the problems, if I if I had to grind the spacers a whole lot, um, I would have to, the, the bolts might hit the swing arm, right? We don't want that. <laughs> Um, if we made the spacers too small, the bolts would start hitting the swing arm and maybe we'd have to grind the bolts too, okay? So, yeah, I'm not happy with how this turned out. It's not OEM, you know? <laughs> it's not how it's supposed to, but hey, that's what happens when you, uh, mess around with a swing arm, man. <laughs> like, hey, well, I had to repair it, you know? So, I don't know what caused it to, um, the gap to shrink like that, alright? 
I, I probably know that like, yeah, man, before this was uh, welded, um, it was probably a lot, a lot more flexible, a lot more flexy than this. Okay. But now it's very, really stiff. So this is how I'm going to put it in there like this. Okay. And then, uh, and then we'll, hopefully we can just slide the axle in there. I will break the chain on the, uh, I will break the chain on the, um, the primary drive and install it that way. Okay. So I don't want to have to like put this on while the swing arm's on there. All right. Hopefully, hopefully over time, um, it'll loosen up a little. All right. <laughs> I hope. All right. But there it is. It's pretty, looks pretty smooth. Okay. Probably new bearings. So they're probably a little stiff. They need to be broken in a little bit. But all right. I will see if I, I can get it in there now. All right. Here's me. <laughs> All right, guys, I got it back together. Woohoo! Finally, <laughs> I took a took a bit. It all right. Uh, I had to put all the chains back on. Um, I just put the foot pegs back on. Uh, the wheel, the the for whatever reason, the chain was tight. I think I I think I tightened it all the way, and that's why it was like super duper tight. And then um, yeah, so I uh, I loosened the chain a little a couple turns. Could that be because the swing arm is a little different now. Yeah, maybe. Um, okay, but for the most part, everything went pretty well. All right. You can see the rear fender is on there now. Hopefully, it'll be on there for a while. And so, yeah, that's it. Uh, let's turn it on and give it a blip, and then that'll be it for tonight. Here we go. I don't know, it still sounds like it's making that noise. I don't know, man. Maybe the chain's not lining up properly. Uh, it doesn't feel smooth at all, man. So I don't know, man. All right, anyway, so there we go. We're done with the rear end rebuild. All right, so what do we have to do? Uh, well, we found out we needed to replace the um, the swing arm axle because it was bent. And then, uh, and then I found out there was a bunch of cracks on the swing arm. So I had that repaired, okay? And and then um, after that was all fixed and everything, I we also I also fixed the uh, the rear stubby fender here because it broke off. I used the plastic welding kit to put it back together. Uh, and then I got a brand new swing arm axle from Suron Canada, all right? And it fit in there nicely, uh, except uh, when we, when I went to go put the jack shaft back in. The jack shaft was really tight. It would not go in. <laughs> okay, so I think when uh, when they welded it, uh, maybe it, like tweaked it or something. There, it was a little closer. Well, what I noticed is that um, the uh, the swing arm slide slipped in really nicely into the frame. <laughs> okay, so that tells me that yeah, it's a little cockeyed now, like that, right? So I hope I don't know, man. Hopefully everything will be okay. All right, but yeah, we're gonna have to go take it out for a test ride. If it's uh, if it's not raining tomorrow, we'll take it out for a test ride, and then we'll see if that noise went away. All right. So that was the main reason that we uh, I I wanted to fix this is because uh, it was making that noise. All right. It shouldn't be making that noise anymore, but I could kind of hear it when I revved it. All right. But we'll ride it around and see if it went away. It should be smooth as butter. When when uh, I remember the last time I redid all the bearings on the for the jack shaft and everything it was uh it was smooth all right really really smooth all right now uh there is still a problem with the jack shaft one of the one of the three bearings one of the four bearings all right one of the four bearings um the bore that it sits in on the jack shaft is loose all right so it's just it's just spinning around in there so that's not good um i think after uh so basically it's just like a three bearing jack shaft now <laughs> okay but anyway, um, the next time I have to work on that jack shaft, we're just we're just gonna throw it away. Okay, that's it. Uh, we're gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna bust by a brand new one with new bearings and everything. I think that poor thing is had. I, that, in fact, that's probably what I should have done. Instead of spending the twenty four dollars on the bearings, I think I should have just bought a new jack shaft. But the the new jack shaft is like fifty dollars or something. All right, so it's not that expensive, guys. 
Um, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's double the cost, this one, I want to say, all right? Hopefully I can get another good year out of this. Um, yeah, man. So hopefully, uh, hopefully nothing like what happened in that race happened again will happen again, all right? Because uh, it, it did a lot of damage to the bike, man. I've never been to swing arm like that before. And I don't know how it happened, man, but we just went flying when he hit me. All right, but yep, there it is. Kickstand's on there. Uh, oh yeah, I still have to replace the kickstand spring. Um, yeah, I might want to try to do that sometime. I have a brand new spring that I bought from Soron Canada also. Um, yeah, okay, anyway, in the next, uh, in the next video, we'll take it for a, uh, a test ride around the neighborhood, and then, uh, and then that'll be it. Hopefully, it'll, it'll pass, uh, pass the test. <laughs> okay? All right, here's big out.